Okay. You know who will never have a seat, who will never rule over any geographical area in the Canary Verse guns? Flippy. Wee. Flippy update. Do you want fries with that? Okay, folks, it's time for the Flippy update. If you're new to the show, Flippy is our colloquial name for the disembodied robot arms that are taking our jobs, enslaving our children, and flirting with our spouses. Today, we're going coming from gizmodo.com, and the headline is Facebook patented a mechanical eyeball. The mechanical eyeball 100 features human-like features. Features human-like features. Features features and can be jammed into an animatronic robot head. And it reads like this. It's well known at this point that the company previously known as Facebook is spending billions of dollars in resources to transport as many of its users as possible out of the real world and plop them into an avatar-filled metaverse. What's less, what's less talked about, though, are the ways Meta is simultaneously adding quintessentially human attributes to machines. The company is added again, this time with designs for a human-like mechanical eyeball, according to a patent first discovered by Insider. Discovered, guns. <laughs> they're, they're not burning. advertising this. There is no press release. Yeah. It had to be discovered by Insider. The filing for the Mechanical Eyeball 100, granted back in December, so fairly new, claims the metal orb is, quote, a robotic eye designed to resemble a human eye with two rotational axes and that intersect at a center point. The design's description seems pretty sophisticated, too, with parts meant to mimic the sclera, retina, and cornea of a human eye, as well as the pupil and iris. But what's an eye without a head? Meta thought that through, too. According to the patent, the eye is designed to mate with an animatronic robot head in an effort to make the eye, quote, appear authentic to the observer. Mm, mm. Mate, huh? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Eyeball is mating with the head. <laughs> the eyeball would be equipped with sensors to help it, quote, see an ability its creators say could be trained and improved using machine learning, potentially based on eye tracking data movements of human users. Oh, yay. Yeah. Which could then see, be all mapped. that all that biometric iris data mm -hmm. is helping the mechanical eyeball. You are cre we are cre helping create our own replacements, yep. which could then be mapped onto the mechanical eyeball. For this, imagine a human working through a sort of CAPTCHA test, uh, but for a robotic eye. Yes, for those who don't know, those CAPTCHA tests, when you're trying to sign into an account or something, yeah. that is actually human-led uh, machine learning. Yeah. In a statement sent to Gizmodo, a Meta spokesperson said the company doesn't comment on specific coverage of its patents or reasons for filing them. The spokesperson went on to say patents in general, quote, don't necessarily cover the technology used in our products and services. Mm. Useless comment. Meta isn't just trying to create a deep gazing mechanical monster. <laughs> the mechanical eye could serve more practical applications as well. For example, the eyeball wouldn't just be trained on human eye tacking, but could also conversely be used as a tool to more accurately track human eye movement. Yay! As an insider <laughs> notes. Wait a minute, that doesn't <laughs> sound... <laughs> that sounds like, you know, oh, they're not going to... Uh, it's used to spy on you, Gons, yeah. as if we didn't already know that. I know, but it just, it, they made it sound like conversely, like, you know, mm -hmm. it's not as bad. There's some practical applications. And the practical well, I don't application know if they is, said that. Necessarily. Well, they said the, the mechanical eye could serve more practical applications. Uh -huh. And then their example is full scale surveillance of your eye. Yeah. It's very practical in these this day and age comes. <laughs> okay. As Insider notes, this type of technology could potentially speed up the development of the company's AR and VR applications, which rely heavily on eye tracking. Those in turn are instrumental for the company's metaverse ambitions. This isn't the first time Meta has flirted with adding human characteristics to robots. Back in November, Meta announced it had partnered with Carnegie Mellon University to create a lightweight, oh, and there we go, lost in the metaverse. The metaverse does not like me. Um, oh, did you get kidnapped again? I'm not kidnapped, but I have um, 
catastrophic failure. So uh, okay. let me do, you want me to, do you, this. You're almost well, done with the article here. Yes. Uh, hold on. I'm almost done. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh-oh, you might show yourself. That's the most no, you've I'm shown good. yourself before. I'm good. I'm good. I just have to His see face. my mouse. There we go. He's okay, zooming I'm back. in. Okay. I'm back. Right. <laughs> just trying to get this the audience is- excited. <laughs> so you get a little more glimpse of the, the, oh, the Baz face. A little glitchy in here. There are some extra <laughs> windows that I don't know where they came from, but it's okay. I'm going to keep moving forward. Um, let's see here. Carnegie Mellon to create a lightweight tactile sensing robot skin that could imbue robots with a sense of touch. Uh, that new flood of environmental touch data wow. could then be supposedly be used to create, quote, realistic virtual objects and physical interactions in the metaverse. Skin to skin in the metaverse, Gons. I don't like eyeball Mark Zuckerberg. Eyeball to eyeball and uh, skin to skin. I don't like him saying that. You know, I can picture him. What? Hey, come over here, guys. Feel my hand. It's real. It's real. <laughs> like right. It's like real. Yeah. Can you imagine the <laughs> the promotional video that our favorite lizard person, Mark Zuckerberg, makes for that? Hug a friend. Hi. <laughs> it's me, your favorite human friend. <laughs> touch meats. <laughs> touch touch your meat together. Hey here. guys, feel my meats. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's enough of that God. it's a family show <laughs> hey i'm just he cooks a lot of beef what are you gonna do in a facebook post the mechanical eyeball and synthetic skin explorations are part of a wider robotics experimentations within meta's ai division first made public back in 2019 so there you go not only i mean the the robotic skin is interesting yeah, we've talked uh, about that though yeah, we've talked about that before. But the robotic eye is also interesting. Yeah. Because it's not, I mean, this isn't necessarily a new concept. No. Um, but the point, I mean, the, the thing is, most robots that have eyeballs, they're just kind of for show, you know. The, the eyeballs are not actively the cameras. You know, the robots will have cameras other places uh, with sensors other places and the eyeballs are just sort of there strictly for the you know human interaction aspect Mm -hmm. of uh, of the robot but to actually make the physical eyeball the actual camera um, is a very interesting development again when it comes to the sort of humanness of robots which is the technocrats are currently working to make robots as human as possible as if anybody wants that um but the you know you, t- you think about what do eyeballs mean to a person you know it's the window the into eyes, the soul exactly the eyes yeah. are the windows to the soul making eye contact is a uh you know is a, a big part of social interactions whether it be to express certain emotions or just knowing that the person is there with you Mm -hmm. you know like mentally or whatever (laughs) and so the idea that the actual eyeball of the robot would be congruent with what we expect of other humans i believe has a significant um mm -hmm, spiritual psychological emotional benefit versus robots that you know may have eyeballs on like in their head but don't aren't actually the thing doing the seeing right um there's something sort of philosophically more uh potent to the fact when you look into a robotic eye and you know that that's where it's seeing you from um you know, you're going to make that personal connection, that human connection, yeah. a lot uh, easier. Well, that's than why otherwise. they they always tell you when you're doing webcam stuff, look directly into the camera. Into the camera, right? Yeah, that, yeah you, that's, that's, that's how you weird... have eye contact with your audience, and it's like <laughs> exactly. Mm, <okay. laughs> right. Yeah. So you know, I don't think it's nothing. You know, it's really. Um, um, I. Uh, this is something that um, I wonder if this is Facebook's play into participating in uh, what we heard about last year, which is WorldCoin, the creepy cryptocurrency with the, the, with the eye scan, the orb Look eye scan. Look into the orb. Yeah, yeah. like what if uh, what if the robot eye is being scanned by the WorldCoin eyeball? You know, you know, it's it's just really like <laughs> I had found you know. my child, my children. <laughs> 
you know, all the robots with the robot uh-huh. eyes. You know, that's the funny, not funny. That's the interesting thing about this is, you know, we've seen people attempt robotic eyes before. Nobody's really pulled it off to the correct degree. And um, most robotics manufacturers and prototypes, they just decided, eh, it actually doesn't matter. We don't, you know, we don't need the eyeball to actually be the camera. Yeah. Um, and I hadn't really thought about it as much until I saw this, which is there's something really powerful about this, not just in the technical sense, but in the social sense. Um, I think this is a big leap forward into, you know, the technocratic utopia of robots replacing us or at least um, becoming one of us. Yeah. Yeah. It is different to be like, hey, you're looking at a camera to, hey, you're looking into the eyes of yeah. a machine. And yeah, I'm kind of I'm checking up on the chat here. Yeah, I mean, I and I think it's, it's you know, somebody mentioned how Disney like put, you know, does yeah, animatronics yeah. already. This is totally different. This is those those pirates of the Caribbean, they're not looking at you when they're looking at you, you know. Mm. But uh old Zucky bot Oh, he will look at you <laughs> and he will see you. Oh, well, not only that, what you really are. He wants to feel you. <laughs> according to the patents, according, according to, to the, the patents, patents, Mark Zuckerberg bot <laughs> wants to feel you and wants you to feel him. Yes. Um, there you go. There's the flippy update for the day.